Tucked away in the back blocks of Sejuna, its modest appearance at odds with its rich history and critical importance to this town, the home of the 113-year-old Coonabar Football Club. It's not just a football Guernsey. This means more than just that. You know, if, if you take the club away from here, Sejuna will fall down, I reckon. It's a place rightly revered in this region, the scene of regular on-field triumphs and, more importantly, a venue that provides vulnerable Indigenous youth with a source of pride and a powerful sense of purpose. You wear red and white, you bleed red and white. You bleed for Cornyville Football Club. On a day when Eddie Betts led the Adelaide Crows Indigenous contingent into town for a clinic with the region's kids, some of Coonabar's elder statesmen were in the mood to reflect on the history of a club created by a Lutheran mission west of Sejuna in 1906. It gave them something that they were the best at. They, they, you know, their uh, ability to play natural football, inspired football. People that are playing now for the Crows at the moment, the, the Betzers and Miller and all those, I came from this area and I had the pleasure of probably playing with their grandfathers back in the 60s. Massive family ties here, I guess. I was born in Port Lincoln and I played for Mallee Park Football Club but most of my family, the Betts family, have came through at Coonabar. Uh, my grandfather um, is Eddie Betts as well and he's a male medalist and he's up here on the wall just up there and then I've got another uh, grandfather and Reggie, Reggie Betts, who call, they call the legend. Big names like Burgoyne, Johncock, Wells, Wanganeen and many more also have bloodlines running through Coonabar. So does NBA star Patrick Mills. But the most famous name right now is definitely Betts. My big brother right here. Yeah, he's good. Big left foot. I always think he can kick goals, but I don't know if he can kick goals. He's a backline player, a ruckman sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> always love to take speckies too. And how proud are you in Ah, oh, couldn't be more proud of him. He's a bloody little legend now. They say it's the respect for history, the camaraderie and community spirit that has ensured the Coonabar Roosters' longevity and all of those premierships as well. As soon as you put on that Guernsey, you're putting on the weight of your spectators, you're putting on the weight of your ancestors, putting on the weight of your grandfathers that played there before them, your fathers that played there before them. Male medalist Dean Hine, whose picture sits proudly on the club room walls alongside Grandfather Betts, perhaps sums it up best as he describes the privilege of playing for Coonabar and the Indigenous heart that has driven it for more than a century. One of the best things that ha ever happened in my life was being a young bloke playing first ruck for the Coonabar football team because they, as I say often, they grew me up. Their willingness to accept anybody, despite all the shit that might be handed out to them, um, their, their sense of humour and their willingness to forgive.